Are you a soccer player that struggles with tight hips and you need a solid mobility drill to not only loosen your hips, but learn how to keep them that way long term? I'm Dr. RJ Burr of Reach Rehab and Chiropractic Performance Center, where we do online videos to help you move and feel better. In this video, I'm gonna take you just through that. I'm gonna show you how to stretch out, loosen up, mobilize your hips, but also go through the process of how do you keep it that way? Now in this video, what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna go through three different levels. Um, low, medium, high, beginner, intermediate, advanced, one, two, three, ABC, whatever you wanna call it. There's three levels. We'll start the easiest first, we'll go to intermediate, and then we'll go to more advanced. And what we're gonna be doing here is not just stretching. Why are we not just stretching? Well, the reason why stretching doesn't work because you haven't learned how to control that newfound range of motion. Meaning that if you just hold a stretch down here, you haven't trained your body how to use it. It just stretches out. When you stand up and move around, run around again, it gets tight again. So when we work actively through these range of motions, we train our brain and we can groove those patterns so that way it's usable and it's, and it's solid to be, uh, to, for your sport, which is, in this case, soccer for this video. All right, let's get rid of the mumbo jumbo and get right into it. Okay, first, I'm gonna run you through all the moves so you have it down pat because it's not about just doing this, it's about doing it well. You're not gonna get as much out of it if you just willy-nilly run through it. So I'm gonna take you through the, the little pieces of it, and then afterward, we'll do a follow along so you can do it with me. All right, now for level one, we're gonna do, I'm on my left-hand side, we're gonna start like this. So if you look at me here, I'm on my side, knees bent, knees bent, my left leg is down like this. So assume this position here, good. And all we're gonna do is rotate our body forward and backward, okay? So we're gonna really focus on an internal rotation of the top hip, or sorry, bottom hip, and the top hip is gonna be internal rotation as we move backward, okay? So I wanna think that my knee and my ankle, knee, ankle, and both sides is glued down to this mat. And what I'm gonna do is rotate my body forward as far as I can go, without over-rotating the chest, we don't need to do that. We just need to rotate the pelvis across. So I've got a belt buckle here. I am bring this belt buckle down toward the ground. I feel a stretch in my hip here. And then I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna rotate or turn that belt buckle open as far as I can go, thinking about touching my right butt cheek to the mat. So I'm gonna roll forward and roll back and make sure you're breathing. <sighs> Typically lower in your abdomen when doing this. Good, if you need to know more about core stability and breathing, I'll put it in a little link right here. It's really important, core stability and breathing. Good, what this looks like from this angle here is knee and ankles glued down and I'm rotating, watch my arm here, I am rotating my body forward and then rotating backward. Thinking of touching my butt down, I can't, you may be able to. But we're not doing this and this here, right? This stays down, rotate forward, rotate back, okay? Now we're gonna switch sides. I'm gonna go here, oh, there we go. Same thing, I'm gonna rotate forward and rotate back. Good, rotate forward and rotate back. Maybe five forward and backward. Good, breathe low. <sighs> Make sure the knees and ankles stay down. Good, that's level one. Next, what we're gonna do is level two. We're gonna start in this recumbent sitting position. So my knees are bent, chest is proud. I'm not rounded like this, I'm nice and tall. I'll turn this way. So I'm gonna be up this way and we're gonna think about windshield wipers with the legs. And we're gonna drop the legs down to one side. Good. Kind of like that first position we started with. And then we're with control. We're gonna come to center, breathing, and then drop to the right hand side, stay tall. Good. We're gonna switch to the left. Good, and with control, drop down to the right. If you need some support with your hands, you can. You can put a hand down to support this side. You can put a hand here to support this side. Good, the next step after you have this is we're gonna drive the knees down and lift our body up with control without jerking like this. So we're gonna come up, lean forward, come up slowly, come down slowly. Good, this looks easy, this can be very difficult. So lean forward, slowly drive the knees down, lift your body up and forward, slowly sit back, the sitting back part is harder. With control, we're gonna come to center and then we're gonna drop down to the opposite side. Same thing, we're gonna come on up and then come on down with control. If you need some hand support, put that down. You can come up and come down. We'll go other side again with hand support. Nothing wrong with using some hand support. Come up, come down. You might have no problem coming up. You might need the hand. 
coming down. Good. All right, we got both sides there. Now we're going level three. Here we go. So we're gonna start in a side bridge position. I like this in the forearm. Knees stacked and bent here. So it looks like this here. So it's not straight, knees bent, hips bent. Get that shoulder out of your ear, pull it down nice and straight through here. See how sloppy I am like I'm on the beach posing? I'm gonna straighten out like this. Once I have this position, we're gonna basically do a side bridge by bringing the hips up and forward and back. Okay, this is step one, forward and back, good. Now step two, because in soccer you kick, right? It's not all just hips, we're kicking the ball. So we're, now we're gonna start challenging our core stability on one side, our stance leg, and then creating mobility in our kicking leg, okay? So once we have the up and down, we're gonna come up and then kick, right? You also wanna move this hand, right? Because when you kick or you run, it's opposite arm, opposite leg, right? So I'm gonna kick here. You can simply hold like this to get used to it. But what you want to do is sit back, sit up and kick. And that mimics the stability and mobility needed in kicking a ball. Once you have that, we can make it even more specific by setting up in this first position that we started with here, the knees bent. We'll come on the forearm. When you kick a soccer ball, right, you sling that leg back and then you sling it forward. So we want to mimic that. So my left leg is back here. And what I'm gonna do is slowly to start, I'm gonna come up, kick, and return. Good, make sure you're strong on the shoulder. I'm gonna add a little bit more speed now that I'm comfortable with this, okay? We're gonna go, and back, and back, good. Control, if you're all weeble wobbling over the place, slow it down, good. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side. So we'll first start. Here, shoulder away, nice and straight here, knees stacked. We come up into the bridge. We're comfortable with that. We're gonna sit back and forward. We're comfortable with that. We're gonna sit forward and kick. Good, we're comfortable with that. Now we're gonna do the full process. Top leg back, I'm right-legged. I kick with this leg, so this side is actually a little more important. So here, I'm gonna kick and then come back with control. Kick, come back with control, kick and come back with control. Perfect. All right, so we have all those pieces there. We're working hip mobility, hip stability, your ability to control change, which is super important. Uh, so we're opening up the hips and then we're teaching the body how to control that through an active range of motion like we do in soccer, which is moving around, running, and especially that kicking motion we had at the end there. All right, so make sure you're doing this at least you know, as a warm up before soccer, but I'd say twice a day, and uh, no more than five minutes. Maybe do on each side, do five or 10 repetitions, work through it slow and controlled, and you'll see over some time, maybe four to six weeks or so, this is really gonna start sticking, okay? Last but not least, let's do a follow along together.
there you have it. Just from showing you this, doing a follow along, I'm already getting my sweat on. So if you like this content, sports specific, mobility and stability, let us know in the comments below and what you'd like to see next. And if you like this stuff, please like this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notifications when we release new content. And thank you very much for your viewership.